going to install OpenSSH and PowerShell 7 on a Windows 11 machine. And uh, that'll give us the ability to access it uh, with PowerShell remoting from a Linux machine so that I can use PowerShell from my Linux terminal. So in Windows 11, um, it's a feature now. So if you go to Settings, Apps, Optional Features, under Optional Features, uh, we'll be able to search for OpenSSH. Um, by default, the client is installed, but the server isn't. So you just click the checkbox next to the server and install it. And once that installs, it's going to create the configuration. And the configuration will be in program data SSH. This is what it creates here. And this is your configuration file. So we can check the service by opening up a terminal and get service sshd there it is it's up and it's running so now we'll go ahead and install powershell 7.3 by default um, open ssh will when you ssh in it'll default to a command prompt uh, which is kind of worthless so you can change that to be PowerShell 6 um, or PowerShell 7. We're, we're going to install PowerShell 7 and um, make the default shell for OpenSSH be PowerShell 7. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do both ways. We're going to enable PS Remoting here. Here we're going to go ahead and enable updating from Windows Update, but we're going to turn off uh, oh, no, that's fine. Use Microsoft Update, enable updating PowerShell through. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go ahead and click install. Okay, so now it's installed. We'll click finish here, and we should be able to find it in the menu. PowerShell 7. Okay, this starts up a PowerShell 7 command prompt. So what we're going to want to do is open up PowerShell and admin PowerShell prompt. And there's two different uh, Two different uh, ways you can do it, but this is the um, this is the registry entry for OpenSSH, telling it what the default shell is. If you wanted to go ahead and add um, PowerShell 6 to it, you can enter this. Um, to add PowerShell 7, we're going to point it to Program Files PowerShell 7 PWSH. So what we want to do is we want to run this in uh, admin command prompt. And that sets the default shell. And then from a command prompt, we can SSH to user at our Windows 11 machine. I typed that right. Yep. And then now uh, we're in PowerShell. And this is on the remote machine. So that's how you install OpenSSH and set PowerShell 7 as the default shell.